too much. I'm just saying. <laughs> you want to know a few things that you can do to make your summer beach experience a little better? First, you can get a summer body like Omawale. Or not. Um, the folks at MSN Lifestyle have shared a few tips on how to make summer better. The first, I would say, is borrow money, beg our money, and get a hasty. Or buy some bags of ice. See that now? Strap it to the back of your fan. <laughs> Neville, it's ridiculously hot. It is very hot. It says freeze Ooh, water in plastic bags and use it as a cooler ice pack. And you can empty it to store wet bathing suits when you're done. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> or they, they say sometimes you can put, or maybe we'll get there. Let me see if we'll get there. No, they say you can put the ice like on your pillow before you lie down on it or on your sheet so that the bed can be cool when you go in there and lie down. Um, invest in a tent or a beach cabana. No. You put that in your front yard? No. <laughs> <laughs> eh? No, God, no? On the roof. <laughs> Before you look, you see friends coming no, in. These are beach neighbors. tips, by the way. <laughs> so let's have a beach in the front there. Yeah. Let's see everybody up as I say, wait, how much will come in? <laughs> oh, beach, all you need is standing home. All right. Well, invest in a tent this year, beach commander, because it offers reprieve from the sun without leaving the beach. What again? Create a landmark with a flag or helium balloon so kids don't get lost. Again, we're talking about uh, being on the beach, so if they run off, they know how to get back to where they were. Um, that could be a big beach if they lost. I was so. just going to say, why, why would you get lost and then this open space? Okay. And then they, all those kids have a way for those. They have a way for those things when nobody else in the world can do it. <laughs> and they make it look easy too. You're looking for them on the, in the top of the Seriously. palm tree. Seriously. Okay. Like how a man gets stuck in a grill. <laughs> oh, you get stuck in a grill. <laughs> oh, you reach in there in the first place. Oh, you know, get stuck in a grill. <laughs> you don't know them little people there. <laughs> stuck in a grill? Yeah. Well, you oh, know, once your head, head can get through the rest of your body, yeah. they can. So maybe Incredible. give off yours. Okay, use old sheets as beach blankets, of course. They're lightweight and they dry quickly. So, yeah, that's one thing. Wait, no, so you know, oh, you know, I use a toilet. Yeah. Or maybe so the difference would be what? The difference is that you don't use the sheet anymore on your bed because it's old. And, it, and it's lighter than the toilet. And it's and bigger and, too. And, and dry quick and stuff like that. All right. So. Use an empty suntan lotion bottle to stash your phone, cash, credit cards and keys. That bottle is supposed to be huge. Yeah, I don't know about that, this one. And then the plastic heats up. So, and your phone, yeah. when your phone gets too hot, it gives you a message that it's too Plus, hot, suppose eh? you go and dive and a man beside you just say, you know, say, I want some suntan lotion and see that pull out. <laughs> when you come back, you see him say, hello. <laughs> you, you wouldn't see when you come back. Dive, right? <laughs> hey? When you reach home, you say, oh, I keep some suntan lotion <laughs> and I find a phone. <laughs> All right. So, pockets into corners of beach towers. Items will help way towel down so maybe if you put the pockets there then you can put the phone and stuff in there yeah. you might go in the water and come back and do say do not see neither the towel nor the phone okay, or nothing right. so but yeah sure yeah so okay. normally what you do to wait though you don't just put two stones on it you put yourself on it you can call yourself a yeah, stone yeah but when you, you get up and go in the water you they, what happens i don't find it typically blow away does it has to be a particularly windy day uh -huh. All right, what's the next one? Blow up a deflated balloon. Well, it's the only way you could have blow it up if it deflate to clear water from your ears. So you make it pop. Oh, really? Yeah. I just cock your nose and blow it. It pops. Hmm. You learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. Freeze aloe vera in ice cube trays for a sunburn remedy. I don't know because aloe vera do not smell so goodly. It smell, it smell good. It does smell, but it tastes bad. So I'm assuming it. Yes, it have a smell. It have a odor. I'm trying to figure out why you don't make the sunburn reach to this stage where you have to put ice on it. You'd be surprised how many people you look at them when they leave the beach and you think, what were you thinking? And they say aloe vera is good for it. Maybe that's a good way. I just don't know. If 
Mm. Smellically speaking, it would be a good plan. So how much place you want to start your value? value? Don't say. First it was in the, the sun tan bottle, then it was in the corner. The, the <laughs> now it says stash valuables no, in no. a diaper. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Who is well going I to know. That? If you see Neffel Bell go to the beach with no baby, him don't carry no baby. I just say a diaper. Then you see him have a diaper. <laughs> right? <laughs> what you really going to be thinking? <laughs> but that's a good plan. Because yeah. if, especially if it look like that, I don't really know that. Well, the fact that we be. don't, we tell every thief in the world now. That's true. We <laughs> the can't fact really. that we just tell them a while ago. <laughs> you know, say, when you come back, you don't say, no diaper, no suntan bottle. <laughs> they must say, wait, I want if them that want smiles in America, take up the suntan bottle and feel an uh, iPhone in there. <laughs> but you know, um, we should give some cool <laughs> tips too, because not everybody is a beach person. I'm not a beach person. Can't manage the sun. And the beach the kind of hot to you though. Rather. <laughs> well, that's what I like about it, because I, I like sunbathing, which is very terrible, but you're not a beach person either. You've had some not so good experiences at the beach. <laughs> and you know what? Anyway, let me not say it. I was going to go back to my Saturday experience, but I can't remember that. My Saturday experience wasn't a... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why you don't dig, like, really deep down in the sand? And put yourself in there, up to your neck, leave out your head, and then get a beach axe, put it over your face. Nobody would ever know it was you. I'm on good that's it. Yeah. I, I just get one kick. <laughs> You're probably going to sophisticate, <laughs> but nobody doesn't going to know it was you. <laughs> I don't feel you love me so much. Oh, that's, gosh. That is all them punish people. <laughs> it was them all time wasted when it was... Punish them and put on some hands around your head. <laughs> what movies are you watching? <laughs> and I am I've, I've never seen that. Of That's course. Of no, course. I wouldn't it's, want that to happen to you. So they murder some other people. Eh? Or if you just need to get your own private beach. In a very serious way, though, this heat can hurt you. So you all have to be careful. I, mean, I know it's football season now. Yeah, man, especially with schoolers. Yeah, man, this heat can give you some problems. So you have to be hydrated. I remember when we played the United States in the World Cup qualifiers. And I think they were training in a little place that, well, in a place that was a little cooler than here. So we decided to play the game at midday because of the sun. Um, and then I was told by someone at the Met Office that the hottest time of day is probably about 3 o'clock. Is that true? Apparently they said because the sun Sunny is on the ground yeah. longer. Or something like that. So the midday sun is really not the hottest time Actually, of day. Actually, last week I went down to my car at about that time of the day, and the asphalt was actually yes, sinking yes, with me. It was. It was. It's but we seen some thirty. I can't remember exactly. Degree. So met office down. Uh, I'm not saying if I if I wrong those correct, but I know they said it's it's about that time of no, day. No, it's serious. But then again, yeah, when you're not accustomed to the sun, you know, whether it do hot or not, if you don't not accustomed to be out there at ten thirty, when you go out there, it is the hottest That's time true. in life. When you hit the 10 30. That's why I rate ballers, you know. I don't know how they run for 90 minutes. I mean, you get the break, but. Ballers? Yeah. Cricket are them out there for five days. Yeah, but. I never see nothing. There. And then after five days, nobody knows win. The match is Are cricket really exerting as much energy <laughs> as the ballers, though? Well, them do, they just stand up there son, for six hours. Mm. You see, cricket are the only sport, you know, you have lunch, lunch time, <laughs> and tea time, <laughs> and water break. And they usually have a rest day. So you play four days, then you rest, and then like you come back. when God created the hurt. I, I, was trying, I was trying to explain to my daughter, who's a Canadian, about the game. And I said, after five days, she said, five days, daddy? And I said, nobody win after that. She goes, huh? Mm -hmm. Can I understand? <laughs> yeah. Canadians, eh? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Eh? <laughs> All right, we're taking a break. Jack Kingston is going to take us out when we come back. <laughs>